Conservative politician Susan Hall told The Express that the people must never surrender to Labour and claimed that party would never stand up to Sadiq Khan. A plot by the Labour Party to punish UK motorists has been exposed and London Mayor Sadiq Khan has been accused of letting his mask slip after changes to the congestion charge. Under new plans announced by Transport for London, TfL, from December 25, 2025 drivers of zero emissions vehicles will have to pay the full congestion charge to travel into the centre of London. Currently, those drivers only have to pay £10, but as part of the changes they will have to pay the full £15 paid by drivers who aren't piloting zero emissions vehicles. The move has been slammed by former Conservative mayoral candidate Susan Hall. She told The Express, Sadiq Khan is ignoring us. He is doing this because he thinks there will be no one to stand up to him on Londoners' behalf after Thursday. We must not surrender to Labour, we must not lose our voice in London. Labour will never stand up to Khan. Hall's comments have been echoed by the Conservative Party's Steve Tuckwell who claimed Mr Khan and Labour's mask had slipped. He said, London is the Western Front in Labour's war on motorists, and only the Conservatives are fighting to defend drivers. Sadiq Khan has let Labour's mask slip, scrapping the discounts on electric vehicles makes this clear, Labour wants your car to make as much money as possible for them, whether it's through you les or paper mile. Don't surrender to Labour's war on motorists, don't let them bring you les nationwide. Only Conservative MPs can stand up to this threat, as well as angering Tory politicians, the move has been critiqued by environmental groups. Oliver Lord, of the Clean Cities Campaign Group, told the BBC the change was puzzling. He added, by offering incentives to businesses for electric vehicles, we not only promote greener transport but we also draw a line against the most polluting freight vehicles. Dot in a statement, a spokesperson for TfL said, the mayor and TfL have taken world-leading action to tackle the triple threats of air pollution, congestion and climate change. The introduction of the London-wide ULES has resulted in dramatic improvements in air quality and more than 52,000 grants have been approved for Londoners, businesses and charities to switch to cleaner vehicles, with 70,000 fewer non-compliant vehicles now seen driving on London's roads. The congestion charges cleaner vehicle discount was part of our faced scheme to tackle London's toxic air. Ending the cleaner vehicle discount from 25 December 2025 will maintain the effectiveness of the congestion charge, which is in place to manage traffic and congestion in the heart of London.